Let's take a look at the sternum. The sternum, the central structure in this model, is formed of three bones. This is the manubrium. There's a small mark right here, which shows the separation of manubrium from the body. Another mark here represents the border between ziphoid process and the body of the sternum. Once you're past 40, this is all one bone. It's ossified. If we take a look at the manubrium, this is a suprasternal notch. Each of these other indentations represents sternoclavicular joint surface. The other thing you can see in this model is the attachment of the cartilage coming from ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven are the cartilages of the true ribs. Each rib attaches with its own piece of cartilage, costal cartilage, to the sternum. So ribs one, rib two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The false ribs are ribs eight through 12. In this model, you can see ribs, the costal cartilages of ribs eight, nine, and 10 attaching to the cartilage of rib seven. These are called vertebochondral ribs, eight, nine, and 10. You can't see cartilage in this model from ribs 11 and 12, they're floating ribs. They don't attach to the sternum.